All right, Supreme Court gutting the unelected administrative state in this country, the bureaucracy that we all cannot stand, throwing out the 1984 Chevron doctrine in a six to three decision, the three liberal justices dissenting. Now, Chevron allowed for bureaucrats to interpret vague laws written by Congress as they see fit and force judges, when those decisions went to court, to defer to so-called federal agency experts. So it really gave the government a lot of power. And if you watch this show, you probably realize that's not a good thing. So this is a major blow to the left, which relies on the deep state, the bureaucracy that exists in Washington beyond elections, uh, to push their agenda virtually unchecked. The lawsuits originally filed by herring fishermen challenging a Commerce Department regulation that required them to pay the salaries of government observers who board their boats to monitor catches. This decision will have wider implications, though, for reining in the federal government's out-of-control regulatory authority. This is going to be a very wide-ranging thing. And Mark Chenoweth is president of the new Civil Liberties Alliance. He argued this case in front of the Supreme Court and won the case. And congratulations to you, sir, on that. Um, thanks for joining us tonight. Can you just, you know, if, for an audience that's, you know, we're, we're not legal experts, just break it down in the simplest terms what this means for the government's power. Yeah, I think you did a great job explaining it, Rob. I mean, the, the problem with Chevron is that if you're suing the government or the government is suing you in one of these administrative agency cases, even if the judge thinks that your argument is better, your interpretation of the law is better, as long as the government's interpretation is deemed reasonable, the government still wins. That was the rule under Chevron. That's the rule that the court struck down today. So now there will be a level playing field. And if, the, if there's an agency suing you or you're suing an agency, then it will be up to the judge to determine the law. And he won't have to pre-commit uh, to, to having a bias in favor of the government's legal interpretation. It's interesting that I, I read that this initially was, it was a conservative favored regulation, that it came in under Reagan. Um, and, and can you tell us about you know, what, how that changed? Sure. So, yeah, I think that's fair to say that in the beginning, uh, it was the Reagan EPA who won that case. It was actually yeah. Justice Gorsuch's mother, Anne, who was the head of the EPA under Reagan. Uh, and the reason that it was viewed as a conservative victory is that there were a lot of activist uh, judges, uh, particularly on the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals, who would legislate from the bench. And so there was no way to control the way that those judges were coming down with, with decisions. They were they were ignoring what the agencies were trying to do. They were ignoring the executive branch and rewriting the law. So the original thought was maybe if you can force these judges to defer to what the administrative state is saying, then it would give the executive branch a little more control and you could do away with these with these uh, judges. The justices asked about that at oral argument. They said, mm -hmm. well, are we going to go back to those bad old days of the judges having too much control and legislating from the bench? And I think the best answer to that is that the judges that we have today, including the judges appointed by President Trump, right. are much more textualist, meaning that they are much more inclined to follow yeah. the law, to follow statutes. They wow. don't legislate from the bench the way the, the ones did back in the 1970s. And, and long story short, the, you know, the, the, the business owners, you know, the industry, whatever it is, is going to have uh, you know, a, a, a lot less difficulty in fighting off unchecked regulation, ridiculous regulations that come from the government. When they go to court, they're going to have an easier time getting a fair shot at getting the government off their back. Is that fair to say? Yeah. That's exactly That's, right. Okay. That, that it, won't be, it won't be an uphill battle anymore. You'll actually yeah. have a, a fair shot. Got it. Mark Chenoweth, the attorney that won the day. Thank you, sir, very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good weekend.